What are you doing? Here. <laughs> are you gonna help me paint? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna paint this blue. Okay. okay? okay. All right, let's get started. Hey loves, welcome, welcome. If you're new here, hello, my name is Francesca and I am a furniture artist, furniture flipper, whatever it is that you wanna call us. And in today's video, I am making over this side table I got off of Facebook Marketplace. It was a four piece set for $50, so whatever that is, that's how much this cost me. And I'm doing this one separately because um, it doesn't match the rest of the set so I thought it would be great so the bottom of this piece we are coloring in the color petal we're coloring it's not a it's not a coloring book we're painting in the color petal pusher by DIY paint it's clay based and I love it and then the top of it is um, prop queen by DIY paint so it's a very like light baby blue pink and I'm Oh my god blue what's wrong with me anyway the pedal pusher is darker and the top is lighter <laughs> guys it's been a long week let me tell you so um, I'm gonna give this two coats um, that's really all you need with DIY paint unlike the last video this is the regular um, base of it so it doesn't have a built-in sealer or anything like that it's just clay base and what you really want to do is just let this dry in my case overnight I live in Florida so the humidity is super high so that is my recommendation so this brush um, is from Home Depot and <laughs> it's I think meant for staining but when I first started painting furniture, I didn't have that much money to invest in good brushes and this is all the brushes I would buy and it worked really well, especially with DIY paint. So I kept buying them, but of course I've, I've bought a few new um, brushes. So anyway, I still have this in, in, my, in my inventory, so I use it once in a while um, when all my paint brushes are dirty, so yeah it works great I did not sand this piece down um, just because I really didn't need to I did do a scuff sanding on the top but other than that everything stayed the same um, all I did was clean it really really good other than that it, the paint is going on very very well it's kind of it's, it's sticking to it very well the piece wasn't shiny so that helped too so and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to blend this out here in just a moment and I'm going to show you how I did that. What I love about this paint is that you don't really need a lot. Look how a little bit goes a long way, which is one of the things I really like about um, DIY paint. And as long as you don't over brush or over spray with water, um, it's pretty much not full coverage on your first try, but it, it does the job so that your second coat goes on really, really well. Um, I do recommend to have a mister bottle with you though just because at the end of it you do kind of want to smooth it out unless you want all that texture in it which is totally cool um, but at least for like the surfaces for me and a lot of people in my area like a very smooth um, surface now it's not really gonna be smooth and don't worry that was not real marble by the way um, it's not always gonna be real smooth but you could just miss it a little bit when you're done with some water and like you see right here you just go back and forth and 
it's as smooth as it's gonna get in other words um, because it is clay based it is what it is so I did have some bleed through and I was not about to go back because this is a used piece so it is what it is so I used the stencil and I, I used the color beadboard by DIY paint um, just to mask uh, that that bleed through coming out because as you'll see um, further down the video I'm also waxing this piece and I'm adding white decrepit um, kind of like white wax um, to it so it kind of my intention was to mask uh, those bleed throughs um, but to my surprise when I wax this piece they kind of just went away so that was a plus and the white part of it was not necessary but I think it added the perfect touch um, to the piece now these stencils you want to be careful with because they can pull the paint which you'll see in a moment um, I had to retouch the other side of this table because I peeled when I peeled this off um, I went a little bit too fast and I some of the blue paint did come off so just keep that in mind Okay, and now we're just gonna blend this part out so that it's a smooth transition from dark to light. Um, you just wanna put a little bit of both colors. Um, this is a Caddy brush by Paint Pixie. Um, I highly recommend this. It is pricey, but ugh, man, if you wanna blend out paint, this is the brush that you want, honestly. Um, this makes it so much easier and, and so much smoother. I'm not a professional at blending, however, I do recommend you go checking out, which I'm pretty sure you know of, uh, Chris Donna with Bella Renovari. I can't ever say that right. Um, her and Brush by Brandy are just like the experts at blending. So everything I'm doing right here, going sideways and, and opposite directions, it, that's the exact same technique I learned from Chris Donna. But if you want more details, go check out her channel because she really teaches you all the good stuff so don't mind the wall <laughs> I did paint it um, I had a, a moment of um, emotions going through and I needed to take it out on something or work it out on something and I worked it out on my staging wall and made a um, statement piece but I did not keep it <laughs> So the stencil that I use here is um, by Redesign with Prima. I don't know the name of it. Um, I think it was by CC Restyled. I'm not sure. I'm going to leave it linked in the section below if I find it. Um, so yeah. And this is how it looks once it's all blended out. See it's like a really smooth transition from dark to light. And that's exactly what I was looking for. Um, I'm really pleased with how this turned out so yes to me all right I got this mesh thing off of Amazon because I live in Florida we have snakes and we have wasps so I always need extra lighting especially with that door there because it's um, blue it bounces back to my pieces of furniture so then everything looks either really cool or it just messes up the color so I got that mesh so that I can open the door so here I'm just giving a very light scuff sand on the top and only at the top um, and here I'm cleaning that up with the tack cloth which I hate using and now I'm going in with a clear wax by DIY paint I'm using a brush that is not for waxing but that's what we do so you can see there the uh, bleed through coming out uh, those dark spots next to the stencil and then look what happens. Look how it disappears. Hold on. Hold on. There it goes. See, it went away with the wax. So usually I was also expecting for the next day to see even more bleed through because I waxed it. Um, usually when uh, a piece is still has more grease or whatever, once you seal it, that's when that stuff comes through. So I was really expecting to see more um, stuff coming through the the wax and whatnot but it, I guess it sealed it um, so that was good for me <laughs> and you can see how when you uh, put your sealer on whether it's uh, poly or wax it riches up the uh, enriches the color 
So here you can see the difference. It was lighter when it's dried. And then once you put the wax, see how it darkens it up? It's awesome. Super awesome. I love it. Okay, now I'm gonna make uh, basically white wax. So once again, I've got the white uh, decrepit dust from DIY paint and um, I've got wax from DIY paint and I just take some and um, mix it in with the white decrepit. I already had some made, so I'm just adding it to it. Um, there's no measurements to this. Go with your heart's desire. Um, just make enough, I guess, to what you need for your piece if you are going to try this out and then look what it does so i have already waxed it now i'm going to put this on top so my goal here is to get it in into those crevices into all those details and then wipe off the excess so that it's still blue but the white is in there so it gives it a little pop to all those decals so once again you wax it first or put your sealer on Put this on and then you wipe it back if you put too much and while you're wiping back it's not coming off just get a little bit more wax on your on your rag and just put it right over that and it'll like buff out the whiteness of it but you see how it just pops so that that's what you want to do with either a light um wax or dark wax first you want to wax with clear wax and then go back with whatever color you're trying to put into your piece so this is why I wanted to do it because since I had those bleed throughs at the top, I wanted to mask them, but it was completely unnecessary, but still the white um, wax just brightens everything up and brings everything together. And if anything is messed up, you won't be able to tell because of this technique. So it works really in your favor. So here we go again, just the same thing, different angle. <laughs> And then I do it again on the in the in the bottom. So this was great because there was a lot of texture in the bottom, and this just enhances it and just gives it a different look and a different vibe. So I thought it would be fun just to share how I staged this piece. Um, I'm not the greatest at staging. I'm still learning. Um, it is something that I'm struggling with, but it is something that I am open to um, exploring, learning, and just playing around with it. Because that's what you have to do at anything that you want to accomplish so this is what I did and then recently my uncle has let me borrow his professional camera which I'm super excited about so this is me taking all those pretty shots you're about to see all right so what do you think I like it I like the colors thank you to everyone who voted on Instagram or Facebook. Um, I couldn't decide whether to go blue or terracotta. So thank you so much for voting and making that decision easy for me. Remember, um, we used Petal Pusher and Prom Queen by DIY Paint. And we also used the clear wax and the white decrepit, decrep decrepit. We mixed it in with the wax and we did that whole thing. And then we used the stencil with Redesign by Prima. Or Redesign with Prima. <laughs> so I really like how it turned out um yeah I'm looking right at it so thank you so much for watching if you've used the stencil um if you could tag me in your pictures just to see how you did it what you did with it what colors you chose with it I would love to see what you did with that so um yeah thank you so much for watching give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you in the next one <laughs> <laughs> Bye, loves.
inside